title is Geef mij maar nasi goreng from Witeke van Dort or Tante Lien and this is part of it because if not it's gonna be a really long video so I make I will make it in several videos and now I will try to sing it but disclaimer I'm not Dutch I'm not native and this is the best I can do the way I pronounce and moreover when I have to sing it in a normal face my G will not be perfect at all because I don't have Hermione necklace to stop the time and to collect my liquid from all of entire sources that I have within my body so it's gonna be the and that is the best I can do because I don't know how to explain it I don't know how to work harder because it's just cannot so this is the best I can do okay Geen lontong sate babi and niet smak hier pedes Geen trasi serundeng bandeng and geen tahu petis Kue lapis onde onde hen ketela of bapau Geen ketan geen gula jawa darom ya ik seh nao Yeah, I cannot say or sing it like and geen lontong sate babi and it's more here but this yeah I don't have I cannot have to wait for a couple to prepare and then okay ready yeah that is impolite so the way I sing it is the best I can do thank you so much for the understanding and now these words in red is in Dutch the words in black color is in Indonesian Dutch version of Indonesian because sometimes it is different with Indonesian ones it's whether these ones follow the old spelling of Indonesian letters that inherited from Dutch colony time or era my grandpa my grandparents era because there was time when my parents were I, I forgot about how how old were they at that time there is some um, a, a new spelling system was introduced and the whole entire country has to learn the new spelling system it's the newest one so this one is whether it's the old one follow the old one at that era the old spelling or it's just different okay Geen is no. Geen no. Or can be also nothing. The difference between geen and needs. I've already made a video, or maybe some. I kind of forgot. I will put the link below. I made video out of it. Geen. And this one, N is N. There's interesting thing here. In Indonesia, the letter of this word consists same letters in English. D A N N. It's just scrambled, and the, but it's. Oh, of course it will be pronounced as done but in Dutch completely or a bit different letters but the way you pronounce it quite similar with English and okay and this one needs nothing the Indonesian Lontong is rice cake. I don't know how to explain that 
because in Dutch, I think they use the same, but they pronounce it different. Lontong. In Indonesia, lontong. Okay. And this one, in Indonesian, whether it is pig or pork, we use the same word, which is babi. It is also the same in Dutch, whether for pig or pork, is varken. And in English, of course, it is different for pig and pork. And this sate, in Indonesian sate, in Dutch, sometimes sate, sometimes satay, sometimes sate, yeah. In English, sometimes satay. Okay, now this one. Tastes, in Dutch, Smoked. Don't forget the kt, kt. Sometimes when I try to pronounce it in a quick way, smoked, and then the kt, 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 apparently didn't. It, it was not so strong, so I was like, the come on, the kt, kt. okay. So don't forget that one. It's the same with English. Taste. Taste and in Dutch, smoked, smoked, yeah. And now this is the same. Okay, here in Dutch, here, here, yeah. And this one in Indonesian, it should be pedas or pedas. I don't know why in Dutch it become with this letter because in Indonesia it's whether with A or with E. So I don't know why it becomes like this, but yeah, it's supposed to be spicy or hot. Yeah, I don't put the Dutch version here. It's supposed to be hate, hate. Okay, because in this song they use this word. Which is kind of like absorbed from Indonesian, but the Indonesian one is pedas, or in daily conversation or casual, we rarely say it as well. Sometimes we say pedas, but we just say pedas. Why? Because when you have to say pedas, you don't have to move your tongue, you don't have to move your mouth, you just continue what you have before. The when you say the ped ped. But this, uh, so your your mouth will be the, at the same situation. Whether when you have to say pedas, you have to move your mouth a bit bigger. Uh, pedas, okay. Pedas the same. So easier, faster, quicker, understandable. Okay, that's how slang or daily conversation may be created in that way. And this one, the shrimp paste. The word itself in Indonesia is terasi, but in Dutch it becomes trashi, trashi. Yeah. This is the Dutch version of Indonesian of spiced toasted coconut. It's kind of topping that you sprinkle on top of your rice, white rice. In Indonesia is Sarundeng in Indonesian, in Dutch, Shrundeng, and the Indonesian version is Bandeng, the English one is Milkfish, in Dutch, Milkfish, Fish. Okay, this one is the same, this one is the same. Indonesian is this one, tahu, the English one is tofu, and the Dutch one is with these letters. Why? Because the Indonesian old spelling that was inherited from, spelling system that was inherited from Dutch, the colony era, was these words, all these letters also. But the new spelling system, 
this one replace into this one when I said new it's not completely new for new generation for me also already because it was changed during my parents maybe when they were 20 something or so or 20 ish or so yeah so it's called as new but it's already replaced quite long time ago decades ago and this patis is different it's not the same with this one terasi because it is black that's why I put it here black shrimp paste but this the taste is different if you compare with this one and also it came from different kind of area so you might want to check about it but if you want to make a you want to make some food I suggest you just buy it buy authentic food from restaurant or don't try to make it yourself in the first time because I'm afraid you might not like even though you follow the the recipe but I don't know I just that's my suggestion okay this one cookie in Indonesia kue and they said that cookie is cookie in Dutch and sometimes it's hebak or hebaken or hebakil for pastry and this layer in Indonesian is lapis in Dutch is lach and this word lach is used for layer and also for shallow or low not deep yeah I don't know how to explain this kue lapis or in Indonesian kue lapis because in Dutch is kue kue in Indonesian kue kue you might want to search the picture of it kue and then lapis layer cake but it is not the same with layer cake in English term and this one on the on the this is the same bowl Indonesian has it and it's also in Thailand and it's also in Singapore and in the Philippines in Japan but they have different name to call it and it is originate from China in Chinese or Mandarin it is pronounced as well I will try to pronounce it I apologize in advance if I pronounce it not in a perfect way Chen Tui Chen Tui because in Chinese or Mandarin this letter is pronounced as Chi Chi and this letter is pronounced as T Chen Tui Chen Tui This one is the same and cassava in Indonesian is ketela or the word that we use it all the time is singkong sing kong sing singing without ing king kong without king sing kong but in Dutch is ketela ketela the Indonesian version of this word in Dutch of course in Dutch they have different word for it for cassava and this one in Indonesian is atau in English is or in Dutch is of of in daily conversation I tend to pronounce this as of of but if you're really in the zone you will pronounce because sometimes I just pronounce it off off but if you really want to try to be a bit perfect but of course I'm not perfect I will never be able to pronounce it in a perfect way but the best I can do maybe in kind of this way off 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 like that yeah. and this one 
Bakpao in Indonesian is bakpao. Bakpao. It is originated from Chinese or Mandarin. In Mandarin is pao or pao shi. Pao shi. Pao shi. Yeah, the shi is should be like that. It's not shi, but shi, shi, pao shi. I apologize if it's not correct. Pao shi. Yeah, this letter is pronounced as p. More into the p. That's why it is the Beijing. It is more into Beijing. 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 This one is the same, and this one. I rarely pronounce this word. This word I pronounce most of the time. It's rice, sticky rice. This is the sticky, and this is the rice. The rice itself, if I pronounce it for daily conversation, I just pronounce it as rice, 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 rice. But the quote. Perfect should be rest, rest. Can you imagine if I have to think and try to pronounce it in the correct way? I will be a really slow Dutch speaking person because for almost every word I have to do rest. Can you imagine people have to wait and then it is still not good enough? So yeah, this is rest. Rest. Yeah. This word I really pronounce it, so I will try. Clayfrog. 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 Rest. In Indonesian, ketan. Okay. This one, sugar. In Dutch is sauker, daily conversation, but should be sa sauker, sauker, sauker. Yeah, daily conversation sauker should be sa sauker. The Indonesian one is gula. Dutch version of Indonesian gula 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 Indonesian gula and this Java is Jawa Jawa but this is the old spelling of Indonesian. Because in Indonesia now it's become this one, and this one is the one that inherited from Dutch era, the colony era. It pronounced as Jawa, 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 Jawa. Indonesian Jawa. Okay, but in Indonesian we use this term, which is gula merah instead of gula Jawa. Gula merah. The merah itself is red. Gula merah. In Indonesian, you pronounce the noun first and then the adjective. It's the other way around with Dutch and also English. And red in Dutch is rood or rood. Rood if you have the noun. Or the second word becomes rode and then something. Now this one. That's why or therefore, darom, darom, darom. Yeah. If you change or replace this letter with w, it becomes. Warung. It's one of my favorite Dutch word that I kind of use it 
often but I think after I made some videos about confessing about it I think people might notice and they will kind of be aware when I whenever I say it War room is why with that simple word you say war room and you give expression with your face about like why it makes people think and you you kind of can expect quite good quality answer from that or some people might say this oh just because that's it that's it but can you imagine if you keep asking the why 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 and then they have to say that's it that's it that's it they will feel like they're being hypnotized or something because it is interesting you say something and I ask what wrong and then of course they have to explain about the why the reason be behind that one it's out of curiosity of me of mine and also sometimes I just want to know yeah this curiosity and and it's nice right make people think so the the answer will not be super shallow just like you know yeah I, I like to answer that to 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 ask that waru yeah and this one the old spelling of this it becomes this now the 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 new one is this one that's why in Indonesian we also have this word it becomes ya yeah. in English is yes in Dutch it's written this way because this letter is this in Indonesian now ya yeah. in Dutch ya yeah. in Indonesian ya yeah. in English yes and this I in Dutch ik okay this one say in Dutch but again in daily conversation I kind of tend to say say because I was lucky before I pronounce it this this seconds ago I have quite enough liquid in my mouth so I can say but it this is not all the time this is sometimes it's sech sech yeah and now this one in english is now now but the quote perfect one supposed to be now now okay hi today we will learn indonesian or bahasa indonesia about these words the lyrics are taken from a song. The title is Geef Mei Mar Nasi Goreng. It means just give me or give me only nasi goreng or fried rice. From Witeke Van Doort or Tante Lin. And this is part of it because the whole entire song is... I don't want to make a really long video, so yeah. This is part two. As you can see here, the words in red are in Dutch. And the black ones here are Indonesian or Dutch version of Indonesian because sometimes the way we pronounce and the way we write it is a bit different in Indonesian and yeah let's just do it because we will learn Indonesian so focus on here the purple one and also the this one In Dutch, geen. In Indonesian, is tidak ada. Ada is there is or there are. But tidak is no or not. It's mostly more into no. So you said the, you write or you 
again say tidak no and then ada there is or there are to say no or nothing tidak ada and this one lontong lontong is Indonesian version of rice cake it is different with topoki or Korean rice cake the Indonesian version is you, you still can see and feel the rice there it's not kiwi but it is rice but become together cake ish lontong and then sate babi sate is satay or sate babi is pig in indonesian whether you want to say it as pig as animal or as pork you say it with babi sometimes you add the word daging it means meat if you say daging it's kind of more into beef but if you say daging and then babi it means pork yeah i don't write the daging here maybe i will just write the word below in the description box or comment that i will pin and it also the same in dutch <laughs> now we also learn dutch it's okay the pig itself is farken and that's why you also say farken for pork when you want to say as farken satay and in indonesian is dan dan it is interesting because the letters are the same with english one it's just scrambled but in english it's and and in indonesian is done and in dutch it is and but the way you write it is different and here nothing tidak ada why I write tidak ada as no here because this is more into the translation of this Dutch word becomes this one and this one becomes this one but in Indonesian tidak ada tidak ada in two words and then this one tastes the rasa itself rasa we will practice our R it's not R but R my name is Ira it's not Ira but it is okay if you pronounce my name is Ira because that is that's, that's okay that's the best you can do I appreciate it it will be different if you call my name as Ira because come on I know you can pronounce the E why you pronounce it as Ira? My name is Ira. The way you pronounce it as Ira is a, the R is uh -huh, the I uh -huh, yeah so okay. R rasa taste, but in English tastes, which is smoked in Dutch. If you want to be exact. In Indonesian or Bahasa Indonesia it is more into these three words and this one is a phrase because memiliki it means have or has and then the second word is rasa you want to say it has or it have taste to say it as tastes 
Even though if it's like easy translation can be just this one. Rasa. Rasa itself is more into taste. Tastes or this one with the prefix ter. But because of this word, it has already the initial R. We don't double the R letters. That's why it sublime become terasa. It's not terasa with two R, but one R. And this one also with the prefix ber. But because the word itself is it has R, it's not berasa, but it's berasa. The prefix itself is ber, but the word itself is already rasa. That's why berasa, one word, or terasa, one word, or memiliki rasa. Okay. And here, in English, here, in Dutch, here, in Indonesian, is in two words. Di sini, di sini, two words. Some people might write this in one word, but it is incorrect. Because the D itself, it is a preposition. It is the same way at or in or sometimes can be also as on the Indonesian. That's why some Indonesian including myself, I make mistake when I have to say in, on or at because in Indonesian it is D. Okay. Sini itself is come here, come here, here, sini. But if you Di sini, it means here, okay, or in English, here. And this one, spicy or hot, the Indonesian in Dutch, well, how to pronounce it? The Dutch version of Indonesian is this one. I don't know why this letter, it becomes E. Or in English is I, but in Indonesian is E. Because the Indonesian one is pedas. 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 That's the formal one to write it and to pronounce it. But the informal or slang or daily conversation, sometimes we say it as pedas. We replace this letter A or A in Indonesian with E. Pedas. Because back to the easier to pronounce it pedas you don't have to move your mouth or your tongue when you say pedas it's kind of the same pedas instead of pedas when you have to say ah you have to open your mouth you have to do something with your tongue pedas that's why in daily conversation or slang is pedas but i don't know why in Dutch it becomes this one so yeah i just write it here because personally i also don't mention this as this one. Okay. This one, it's the same with this. And this, in Indonesian, daily conversation or informal, you don't write the, some people might not write the E uh or E, or in English is E, but in Indonesian is E, because we pronounce it, pronounce it as terasi, terasi. In Dutch itself, it becomes terasi, but in Indonesian is terasi, terasi, or terasi, terasi. Of course, in daily conversation or slang, it becomes terasi because we don't have to say the uh. terasi, terasi. Okay, and this is shrimp paste. And now this one, I don't even know how to explain it to you. You might want to Google it by yourself because it is translated as spiced toasted coconut. In Indonesian, it is serundeng, serundeng. 
or casual or informal daily conversation we don't pronounce the e uh, becomes because it becomes two syllables instead of three it is the same with this terasi it becomes trasi in this one serundeng it becomes serundeng two syllables instead of three serundeng it is kind of topping to be sprinkled on top of white rice or rice in Dutch serundeng serundeng okay and now in Indonesian we have bandeng you can just write it here I don't have to explain it and this one is the same with this and this one is the same and now tofu in Indonesian tahu tahu there is interesting thing this tahu as a word itself it has two meanings one of them is of course tofu and the other one is as verb to say no no but we don't pronounce it as tahu we write it as tahu but in daily conversation it becomes tau we don't pronounce the h or the h is a silent letter tau tau for food tahu but the way we write it it is the same okay and this one petis i write it here shrimp paste but it is different with this one this one is a bit pink and purple and the taste is also this different and this one is the black one that's why i write it here black shrimp paste Okay, and this the Indonesian word. The correct way to write it is like this, and we pronounce it as kue, kue, as cookie. And we have kue lapis, and this one is the Dutch version of the Indonesian to say kue lapis. The way they write it, or yeah, pronounce it that way. Kue lapis. I suggest you to also Google it because I don't know how to explain it. But the lapis itself is layer. It's cookie, or I cannot say it as cookie because it's kind of different. It's a bit about cake-ish or so. Yeah, you you just I just suggest Google it. And this in Dutch is lach. Even though this lach, it means low or shallow. It's not deep, and it's also as layer. And now this one, onde, onde, in two words. You cannot just say it as onde. You have to say it and write it this way with the hyphen in between when you repeat a word in Indonesian you put hyphen in between but in informal or casual of course some people might skip it and when we search by Google we're kind of skip the hyphen sometimes on day on day this kind of snack is available in Indonesia, in Thailand, in Singapore, in Philippines, in the Philippines, and and also the originally is from China. That's why they have different kind of um, the way they call it. And in Indonesia, and they also have this one in Malaysia. In English, it became and in Japan too. Can you believe it? In Indonesia, the filling or the the stuff that you put it inside is made out of green beans. How to? It's beans, but small one, but green. But it's not the green leaves or so. Green bean, the small. I will put the correct word for it below in the description box or uh, comment that I will pin. 
But in Japan, it's more into red paste. In Indonesia, it's a bit savory, a bit sweet, but more into salty-ish or so. Uh, the Japan one is red bean paste that's a bit sweet. Okay. And the original version is from China. This is the way you write it. Like this. And I will try to pronounce it. I apologize if it's wrong. Chen Tui, Chen Tui, Chen Tui. Because in China or in Chinese, the J is pronounced as Ch, Ch, and the D is pronounced as T, T. Chen Tui, Chen Tui. Okay. And now this one. Kasava in Indonesian or Bahasa Indonesia, the word that we use often is this one, singkong. Ang, ang. It is the same when you say ringing, singing, swimming, ang, singkong, singkong, sing, singing, sing without ing, and then kong, king kong, just use the kong, sing. Kong, sing Kong. Okay. And this one is the formal word for it. This one is also formal, but we use this one more often than this one. Katella. Katella. The Dutch version of Indonesian word. Katella. Katella. Okay. And this in English is or. In Indonesian is atau. In Dutch, this is the way you write it for or. In daily conversation, I will pronounce it as of, of. But the really, really correct, but I'm not, this is not perfect, okay? I, I will try the best I can do. When you, it should be of, 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 okay. But in daily conversation, I say off. Yeah, off. But Dutch people will say it as oof, oof, oof. Yeah. Okay. And now this one, bakpao. In Indonesian, is bakpao. Bakpao. Sometimes we pronounce this one with U. It becomes bakpao. Or we don't pronounce the K. The K letter, it becomes silence. Bakpao, bakpao. The original one is also from China. In China, in Chinese or Mandarin, I keep saying in Chinese Mandarin or Chinese language, the letter B is pronounced as P. That's why the Beijing it's more into Beijing, Beijing, and this one, Pao Shi. I apologize if I pronounce it. Incorrect or not perfect. Pao shi, pao shi, pao shi, pao shi, or pao. Okay. And now this one, ketan, 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 or sticky rice. In English, two words, and this time in Indonesian, you just have to write it in one word. Ketan, or sometimes we add the word uh, beras, beras ketan, because in Indonesian for cooked rice and uncooked rice we have different words. For cooked one is nasi, that's why you have nasi goreng. The goreng itself is fried. Nasi is cooked rice, but the uncooked or raw rice, raw quotes, rice, it is beras, beras. That's why I, I said before, this one can also be beras ketan or ketan. The ketan itself is more into cooked one. And in Dutch, I rarely say this one. 
this one I say it often if even though I say it like rice 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 but the correct one but I'm not correct I'm not perfect that's what I meant is rice rice but in daily conversation I pronounce it as rice rice okay and this clay for her clay for her clay for her okay and now wait I missed something oh this one first yeah it's the same and this one sugar in Dutch is sauker that's the way I pronounce it in daily conversation sauker but the quotes perfect because it is not perfect but it, that's the best I can do it, to pronounce it as sauker sauker sau sauker but in daily conversation conversation sauker okay sauker this is the indonesian in dutch version gula gula in indonesian is gula 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 the dutch one gula okay why this o and a in indonesian it becomes u because in indonesian years ago decades ago we kind of replaced the old version how to read or pronounce the letter so the the ones that inherited from dutch the colonial era which is this one o n a it, it is changed into u the the newer one so this one is not used anymore the old version that we are in, inherited from dutch it is the same with this before long time ago decades ago in my grandparents era because my mom and my dad during their young age they have to adapt with the new version the new pronunciation for each letter for this one for example because my grandparents kind of still stuck with the old one because i think they're kind of like okay this is the way we, we learn about and it's really lots of stuff that you have to adapt so yeah but my father and my mother generation they already kind of yeah with the new one and of course my generation and the newer one some some people don't know about it but yeah and this the d and j or in english d and g j in indonesia d j it becomes j and this is the old way to write it and it is pronounced as Jawa Jawa in Indonesian Jawa Jawa or in English Java this one in Indonesian is not we're kind of rarely say it as Jeffa, Japanese or Jeffa sugar because we pronounce it as red sugar gula and then merah merah is red in indonesian you the first one is the noun and then after that the adjective it is the other way around in english and also in dutch but this one is dutch that absorbed from Indonesian that's why it's this way to the English one is palm sugar that's why sometimes in Dutch it's also palm sauker sauker okay the merah itself in English is red in Dutch is rod 
or sometimes if you, there is a noun it becomes road yeah in Indonesia it's more into gula merah instead of using this word java okay now we will go here I like to pronounce this one because it makes people think before they answer it's like it's a simple word to just pronounce to just say it but it makes other people think quite longer I just can say daro that simple one word and then it makes people have to think blip 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 and then I just like okay that's why I really like this word daro okay in English is that is why or that's why or therefore oleh karena itu in Indonesian Darom is more into oh sorry I was mistaken this Darom is to explain this is that's why the favorite word what is not darum but you replace the letter the initial d with w it becomes warum warum that's my favorite dutch word because it makes people think i just have to say warum that's simple and quick and then people have to think uh, yes i enjoy it so it's not this one but it is warum yeah i will write the word warum below and this one, darom, is to say because of that, or that is why, or therefore, or in Indonesian, oleh karena itu, three words. But sometimes you might skip this one, it becomes karena itu, oleh is by, karena is because, itu is that and sometimes so by because that because of that or that is why or sometimes just karena itu because that because and then that okay darom yeah darom yeah my favorite one warom why now I just tell, so whenever I say warung, people might think that I do that. Yeah, I do that. Okay. Ya. Ya. And this ya, this is also the, in Indonesian, the old version that inherited from Dutch, this letter of J is pronounced as ye. But now we use the newer one, so this letter is J, not Y. But the old generation is Y. Long time ago, decades ago, my grandparents' generation. That's why in Indonesian we have Ya, because it is from Dutch Ya, and in English is Yes. But in Indonesian, now if you write this one, it becomes ja. Because the way to write it is ya. In Dutch, you write it this way, but you pronounce it as ya. Ik is I. In Indonesian, saya or aku. But I write saya here because I use this more than aku. The story about I in Indonesian from form, the formal one and also the slang one or the informal one I think I've made video out of it I don't know I will just write the link when I found the video about it And now this But I in daily conversation I pronounce it as because yeah i don't have enough liquid in my throat and i don't have hermione necklace that make time stop so i can collect my 
throat to collect the liquid first. The yeah, that is hard. So the best I can do sometimes say say okay, that's good enough. It's the same with this chain chain because when you have to pronounce the I don't have. I don't have compartment, liquid compartment in my throat, you know, and and this one is a song. Of course, when I sing this one, I will not able to pronounce this word as <sighs> because it will make the song stop every time I have to pronounce this kind of words, you know. Why I keep saying you know? Okay, come on. This one in English is say. In Indonesian, this one is. The slang, the informal that I keep using, which is bilang, bilang. But the formal one or polite, it is this one, berkata or mengatakan, mengatakan. Of course, the slang or casual or daily conversation. Bilang, yeah. Kata is word. It has prefix ber. Berkata, having word or has word. It means tell or say. Berkata, or this one with the prefix me, but because of the initial k, when you add the prefix me, it becomes. Mang, the letter K it is changed into ang. I've already made a video about this or some videos. I will write the videos link below, and we add the suffix kan. Mengatakan, it has the basic or original or base word kata as word. Kata is word, and then we add the me prefix, and then kan suffix mengatakan to say say. Okay, last one. Yay! Now in Dutch is now, now, now. Okay, in Indonesian sekarang. Sekarang, the quick one. Sekarang, you pronounce it quickly. 